Um, hi, everybody. Uh, we're Quest for the Missing Scripts. We do 20 minute versions of well known films, entirely improvised, entirely without knowing what the film is in advance. We got five scenes for you, four minutes each. That's 20 minutes. So we are going to bring a film to you that you've probably heard of in a way you've definitely never seen before. Uh, I'm the creator. My name is Roxy. And right now I'm going to turn this over to my artistic collaborator, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Roxy. Um, we've assembled a crack team of actors ready to perform for you tonight. So why don't we meet them? Hi, I'm Hannah Duran. I'm Spencer Frankeberger. I'm Ian Gregory Hill. I'm Steven Jackson. I'm Allie Mitchell. Okay, now um, we are going to turn this over to our director for tonight, Ian, who's going to tell us uh, what movie we're going to do because we have no idea. It could be something none of us have ever seen or heard of. So, oh, but first, guys, we need some suggestions for you, from you, to make Ian's movie complete. So get ready to type it. Ian, do you have your suggestions for us? I do. So what's going on, guys? So I need you in the chat. I have specific questions. We're going to do, I'm going to pick the first one that comes up. So for this one, I need a name, uh, uh, name the job you yearn to have. I need a job that you yearn to have. You getting any bites out there? Waiting. There's a bit a of a supportive delay. live cousin. Shout out to supportive live cousin. I feel like that's my cousin. Attack the <laughs> term is... <laughs> Thank you. That's a great one. That is an uh, amazing suggestion. Taxidermist. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So now, name uh name a job you yearn to leave. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Oh my a god. Grave I digger. I Thank think you. I know what movie Banshee. Did. Oh, this is great. I know what movie it is. <laughs> I know what movie All it is. All right. The director always wears a hat, but I thought my hat would just give it away. So let me put this bad boy up. The movie we are doing was written by an unknown man who became uh, an Oscar nominated person. Uh, maybe winner? I don't remember. The great movie Rocky <laughs> with Rocky as a taxidermist. <laughs> so we're gonna go the first scene <laughs> and get right into it. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. So Rocky, an old and washed up taxidermist, gets done with the backyard competition. He goes into a pet store and flirts with Adrian, a pet store employee. Rocky works as a grave digger to make ends meet. He arrives, uh, he arrives to his store of taxidermists, and Mickey, the owner, gives his locker away. We have four minutes on the clock. We'll do five scenes. First scene, go. Oh, sorry, I'm late, boss. What the fuck? Where where yeah. were you? I I was uh, I was I was just I got distracted. I was at home. You got distracted at home. I'm sorry. I'm I'm here. I'm here. I'm ready. You know, ready to work. All right. We'll pick up where you left off yesterday. Doing your doing your taxidermy shit. Okay. Uh, Stuff well, that yeah, well, I, I kind of, I kind of wanted to not stuff. Maybe I could, you know, formaldehyde some things or. Do, do I look like you can, you can talk back to me? Do I look like, do, do I look like I make the rules? Because I don't. We need this stuff done, Rocky. So do your job. Okay. Okay. Sorry, boss. Man, 
My boss sucks. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I guess I'll just stuff this dog. I'm sorry, Fido. I wish I you know, I wish it wasn't like this. I wish you could have gotten a I wish I could have dug a really nice grave for you. God, I wish I could have dug a really nice grave for you. But no, I got to stuff you. <laughs> All right, here goes your head. All right, how's Fido coming along? He's coming. He, you know, he no. doesn't. He doesn't look too happy. I want to hang him on my wall. What's taking so long? Hang him? I thought you wanted me to put him on the the placard, the the wooden, the hardwood placard. Is he? Is it not a standing up thing or is it a wall thing? No, he's gonna be on the placard like this. Oh my god! What have you done to my dog? He looks terrible. Hey. Um, uh, um, uh, uh, hi, hi, ma'am. No, I, this, this is terrible. Young know, man, I demand you go to the pet store and you get, man, you give me a dog to replace my dead dog. My dead dog was beautiful. This, what, what is this thing? Go to the pet store. It's your job now. What? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do it. That's, that's fucked up. No. I, hi, I'm here to, I'm here to get a dog that looks like this stuffed one. What's up? I'm Adrian. You want dog? There's a bunch of dogs over there. Yeah. I can get your dog. Yeah, you got one that looks like this one? Oh my god, this, this fucking stuffed dog? Why the fuck would you bring that in here? Uh, some girl, some woman wanted me to, to get a replacement dog. She said I didn't stuff this one right. Oh my god, just, it's over, they're over there. They're all over there. Just go. Pick one. Please, I'm busy. Pick one? I'm busy. They're still alive? I, yes, they're still alive. It's a pet store. We sell live animals. Are you okay? Well, I guess I never, I don't know if this customer wants it dead or alive. Oh my <laughs> God. You know, you know what? Here, just, just take this, this innocent thing. Just oh, take it. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you smell like formaldehyde. I need you to get out of a store. Okay. Boss, I got this dog. I just, I, what am I going to, am I supposed to club it? Yeah, I don't know. Right now I'm getting rid of your locker. So, um, <laughs> sucks to suck, Rocky. Um, you're fired. Uh, you can just go, go give the dog to the weird lady. I don't, I don't give a shit. I don't. I'm not I don't. paying for this! And scene. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Second scene of Proxy, the taxidermist. Apollo Creed, the most famous taxidermist in his prime, has his big competitor drop out of the big competition. He tells his team he picks Rocky to compete against him due to his famous nickname. Polly, Adrian's brother, brings Rocky over for surprise date. Rocky and Adrian do something innocent that they shouldn't do. The night ends in a kiss. Scene two, ready, set, go. Yeah, I quit. I quit. I'm not. I'm not doing the fight. I'm not doing the fight. I, wait, 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 Apollo. What are you talking about? You can't I quit. quit. Like we, all us guys on your team, we support you, man. You can't just drop out. What are you dropping out for? All right, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I just need. I just need a competitor then. I just need a competitor because the other we'll guy quit. Competitor, it. don't worry about it. We'll find you a competitor. Great, great. I'm glad you're always here on my side. <laughs> just saying, I just gotta have. A, I gotta have a fight between two people. Oh wait, hey, Mr. Creed. Oh, my name is Mickey, and I'm a very old man. But I got a guy. I got a guy who's the best taxidermist. Oh wait a minute, I'm a very old man. Oh. I got a guy who's the best taxidermist in the world, and he'll, he'll challenge you any day, any time, any venue, any dead animal, dead person. What do you want? My guy can do it for you. Well, there you go. Why don't you Why don't you do a taxidermy off with that guy? It can't be that hard. Yeah, all right. I feel like I feel like you know these 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 
taxidermy fights have just kind of gotten lower in the bar every time. You don't even have to Please, test Mr. the guy. Green, we'll, we'll do all kinds of endangered animals. I'll go and get Brad to yes, again. Yes, there you go. You all might right, get to stuff fine. a bald eagle or a panda. Fine. Oh, I do want to. I do want to stuff a stuff a bald eagle, but they're oh, American Brad, national treasures, so it can't I really do that. I hate this country. I'll kill a million bald eagles for you, Mister Green. Just well, uh, let's not get too out of hand. We would probably get in trouble for those because they're America's national treasure. Anyway, yeah, I think I think this guy should be fine. I need a competitor, and so may as well use this guy. What, what's his name? What's his name? Rocky, Rocky Balboa. He's the best. Oh yeah, he sounds he sounds like a like a tough a tough cookie. Let's let's get him in. Yeah, let's get him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, I'll crush can... him. I'll crush him like an Oreo. Yeah, he can stuff a guinea pig in, in this two minutes. What? In taxidermy, yeah. Right. All right. Right. Like okay. metaphorically, I'll crush him like a cookie. Right. Okay. You're the... But I do this to his head, but metaphorically. Well, that hey. sounds pretty bad. Hey, uh, you're the you. You're the guy who gave me that dog yesterday, right? Dog? Yeah. Me? No, a dog owner. Oh. Yeah, that was my wife's dog. My name is Mickey. You know how they say you marry people that look a lot like you because, you know, you secretly want to do yourself. Well, that's what my therapist says. Anyway, Rocky, I know I know you're, you're, you're always talking about how you want to be the greatest taxidermist in the world. The best. Okay. I got, I got, I got you a chance to fight the guy who's the greatest taxidermist in the world, Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed. Yes. <laughs> you got me a chance to do taxidermy against Apollo Creed. That's right. He set oh the my. world record for stuffing a dead moose. Yeah, he stuffed that dead moose so good. Yeah. Well, you got to bring your A game, Rocky. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I touched your hand like that in a sensual but innocent way. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name's Polly. You're Rocky, right? Yeah. I, you're the one who I just touched sensually but innocently, right? Yes. Yep. No, that is totally fine. Uh, but I actually am here uh, to set you up with my sister. She's really, she's really into like grave digging. It's really weird. Uh, and I just want to see how this shit plays out with y'all. So I set y'all up. You can use my apartment. Uh, just Where, like no, no where's sex. her hand? I want to touch her hand innocently but sensually. Yeah, just no sex on the couch. Go there at seven. Okay. You're the sister? Yeah, you just came into my store to buy a, a dog. That's what I thought. All right, I got to go, but I'm going to give you a kiss if that's all right. Is that all right? I, I, I just, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I need your consent. I'm not going to kiss you unless you want to, but I want to kiss you. I feel like we're moving a little fast, but sure. Okay, I, I, then we don't like, have to, No, I'm not trying to rush anything, you know. Yeah, I would like to take things slow, please. Maybe you could just like start with flowers and then we can just move on up there. Okay, so no 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 kiss. Not yet. Okay. And play scene. cards. <laughs> All right. Scene three of Rocky. Rocky is asked to compete against Apollo Creed by being interviewed on TV. Mickey comes by Rocky's apartment and tries to be his coach. Something happens where Mickey walks away, but ultimately becomes his coach. Scene three. Four minutes on the clock. Ready, set, go. We're here with Rocky Balboa, here to interview him for his upcoming taxidermy fight with Apollo Creed. Rocky, what can you tell us about your opponent? You know, they say Apollo's the best. I've, uh, I've seen him make a jackalope. That's just not even real. It's just not even real. So, you know, you got to give the man credit. Uh, you know, the best taxidermists in the world, they uh, often make cryptids. And that's really respectable craft. It's really hard. And this is true. You can look this up. I'm not making this shit up. I wouldn't. I'm Rocky Balboa. I'm very serious about my taxidermy. Um, you know, this guy, he really doesn't fuck around. And, uh, neither, but neither do I. You know, one time I made a, I made a mermaid. Uh, not with a real person, though. It was like a mermaid, deer thing, goat. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I'm bad at interviews. This is, uh, this is not, uh, you know, who are you? I'm with Channel 9 Action News, Philadelphia. My name is Bob Sideburns. Um, any comment on Apollo Creed's comments that he would crush you like a cookie, metaphorically? Uh, I mean, I got to respect the man. I got to respect his craft. And respectfully, I don't think that's how it's going to turn out in the match. Um, I would just like to see 
you know, how, how well can he stop? Apparently pretty well. You heard it here, folks. Rocky Balboa wants to get stuffed by Apollo Creed. That's not what I said. That is not what I said. That is not at all what I said. This is Bob Sideburns reporting for Nine Action News, Philadelphia. All right. Bob, Rocky. That was, what? What, Mickey? What the hell was that interview? You sounded like a freaking idiot. I, I did. I don't know. I, uh, my brain hurt. You're supposed to fight Creed, not come on to him. Rocky, get it I wasn't together. trying to come on to him. I'm just huffing formaldehyde all the time. My brain don't work too good. I know, Rocky. That's why you talk funny. But, you know, what makes us unique is what it's, it's what's good. That's what I believe in my heart. Now, you got to get out there. You got to kick some ass, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make something crazy. Okay. Well, did you practice on the, did you practice on those, uh, those dead cows I sent over here? Did you stuff them to make them look alive? Yeah. Well, I stuffed the first one and then I thought, God, wouldn't it be cool if this cow had an alligator head? So I went and did that. Rocky, Rocky, this is going to be a textbook match. Only real animals allowed. Cryptids are a respected craft. Okay, well, look, I, uh, cryptids is a classic, okay? Everybody loves the rhino where they move the horn so it's on its head and it's a unicorn. Unicorn! Right? I love that! I love a unicorn! That was my gateway drug to taxidermy! But Rocky, if you're not going to take this seriously, I'm not going to be your coach. Mickey, just walk away. If, you, if you're not going to support me in my craft, just walk away, Mickey. You want me to walk away? You want me to, to, to throw away all the all the bear all the bears fighting other bears? All right. All right, Mickey. I'm gonna stuff this cow the best you ever see. You're not oh bitch, she's gone. All right. All right. I'm stuffing the cow, Mickey. All right, I'm stuffing the cow. All right. Thanks. All right. Oh my god, what are you doing with my cows? Oh god damn it! Whoa. Oh my God, Becky! Did you just uh, did you just take these from my farm? Well, th ma'am, they they all uh, they they died in natural causes. I didn't. I they definitely didn't that break that into your barn and poison all your animals. That's not a thing I did. Rocky, run! She's gonna call the police. Okay. Uh, run! Run! And run and see, and see. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Scene four. Rocky explains to Adrian why he can't have sex with her, and then she moves in with him. Rocky uses cows to get ready for the competition. We see a training montage of Rocky featuring Eye of the Tiger. That's all scene four. <laughs> scene four, four minutes on the clock. Ready, set, go. Hey, uh... I just want to, I want to talk if that's, if that's all right. I know you didn't let me kiss you last time, but, uh, um, and that's cool. It's real cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're sitting here at Pizza Hut. You called me for our date. So I'm here so we can talk. Yeah. I, uh, you know, this whole slow thing, I, uh, I think we need to go slower. I don't, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a good guy for you. You know, you, you. You could have you could have anybody, right? You could have anybody. yeah, I could. You you could have a painter. You could have a sculptor. Uh, you know, you you could have a you could you could have you could have you know, you can have Michelangelo, but um, you know, you 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 don't you don't. Need, I'm not sure you need Rocky. I'm not sure this is gonna work out. Um, but it's Wait, not. Don't want. It's not because you're not pretty. It's not because I don't like you. It's not because I don't like you or nothing. Uh, it's just, it's just, I'm not sure. Are you breaking up with me at a pizza hut? What's? <laughs> well, we, we were, I didn't, I didn't think we were together, but I, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm underselling myself, uh, in a, in a kind of, you know, I'm doing it respectfully because you're, you're a lady of a certain situation, uh, of a certain grace. Uh, thank you. Yeah, no, it's all good. It's all good on your end. You know, it's me. It's, I'm the problem. Uh, so look, look, Rocky, I, I appreciate you trying to talk to me and give me this big long spiel, but I know the deal. You're not the first taxidermist I've been around the block with. You can't have sex before the big match. I understand. I get it. It's totally cool. We're totally copacetic. All right. As long as you pay for the breadsticks, 
We're solid. <laughs> okay. I got it. Got it? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to put my card down. Uh, I think they, yeah. And I, yeah, I'm, and I'm not going to put my card down. We are not yeah. going Dutch for this. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I got to go train. So, uh. Okay, yeah, but before you go, can you make sure they bring me another cup of marinara sauce for these breadsticks? Because I, I, they're really good. Yeah, 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 I, I, I got it. Yeah, call me when the match is over. I guess I'll go. Okay, we'll do. Hey, uh, hey uh, Billy. Uh, Billy. 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 What? Hey. Rocky, are you I, talking to me? Well, no, I'm talking to, to get the guy I'm not talking to her. I'm trying to get the guy. I'm trying to get my girl her marinara. But Mickey, I'm glad you're here. Um, Rocky, you know, we got... you're 20 minutes late. We were supposed to start training 20 minutes ago. Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh, I fucked it up. Rocky, oh, I'm... stop running up these stairs. You gotta get in shape oh. for the match. Okay. Oh. Back, back on the street. <laughs> Did gonna my... fly now. The, 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 the... The da, da, da. I go out. And you can always shout, John Jacob Jacob Irishman. Gonna fly now. I am the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last known <laughs> survivor strikes and spray in the night. And he's Do it again. With you. Again, okay. Oh, of the tiger. So I got another truckload of cows for you. You ordered a bunch of cows. Yeah, oh. he's got to start stuffing them. The dead, yeah, right? I'll put them over here. I'll just, I'll just put them all over here. They're, they're all dead. You made sure. Uh, one second. Uh, yeah, okay, they're dead. Thanks. All right. Hey, how was that inspirational song I had written for you, Rocky? Do you like it? It was really good. Okay, now, now go start stuffing these cows. And scene! <laughs> oh, great. Three different people singing different, three different parts of that song at the same time. <laughs> that was my favorite. All right, last and final scene of Roxy the Taxidermist. <laughs> Rocky admits to Adrian he doesn't think he can win, but he wants to go the distance. The day of the competition, Adrian hides out of sight. Rocky and Apollo battle. Rocky almost doesn't go the distance, but Adrian comes out of hiding and he finds the courage to go the distance, but loses. Rocky and Adrian say, I love you for the first time. And that is the end of Roxy the Taxidermist. <laughs> Four minutes on the clock to wrap it up. Ready, set, go. Okay, Rock, it's the day of the big match. Are you ready? I uh, I don't know. I'm I'm getting nervous. My girl Adrian, she's not she's not here. I hope she shows up soon. I don't know. I'm trying to I'm trying to go the distance. I don't know if I can win, but I can go the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's fight between Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed for Taxidermist of the Year. In this corner, weighing in at a measly 160 pounds and a, at a height of 5'11", it's Rocky Balboa. And in this corner, weighing in at 161 pounds and a height of 10 foot, 10 foot 4 is Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed. You suck! Ooh. I can't hear you all the way up here. I'm too tall. I can't hear you. Let's get ready to stop. <laughs> all right. Uh, do we like we 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 bump we bump animals right before we start? Yeah. yeah all right. Just, sure. Yeah. Just yeah. Go yeah. whenever. Right. Just go. It, it's just it's not about time. It's about you know how well you do it. So you can just just start now. It's fine. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, great. Mickey, hey Mickey man, I need, I need I need a pep talk, Mickey. I need you to come over while I'm doing. Rock, you could do this. You could go the distance. I mean, you know. All right, I know walrus is a tough one because they're all wet. 
they're slippery. You got to get in there. You got to dig the needle in. You got to dig that stuffing in, but you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You don't have the sense. God gave a mule. There's lots of blubber. It's just, you know, it's a tough beast. You got this, Apollo. You can do it. Sorry, we have to shout all the way down. I, knew, I know it's hard for you to hear us when you're all the way up there, but, you know, you Thank got you for your much. support. Thank you for your you support. Go Rocky from a wen- random woman in the crowd, not Adrian. Go Rocky. Oh, I got all these random women screaming for me, Mickey, but it's not Adrian. It's breaking my heart. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Go Rocky. It's Adrian. Go Rocky. You're right. Oh, my God. It's Adrian. Oh, Jesus. I got to put these whiskers in the walrus. Go and rock! You are the walrus! Go, 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 jump! You are the walrus! I believe I can do it with this walrus eye. You can go the distance like Hercules. Like Hercules, Rock. You're like Hercules. All right, I'm doing the tusks. I'm doing the tusks. Those are good. You can't. You can't. You can't chip a rock. Don't drop them. They gotta go in there. They gotta be mid condition. Go, Rocky. I don't date losers. Go, Rocky. You know, That's a good point, point, Rock. This is the sweetest love story. It's like a Taylor Swift song. Oh my God. You have three seconds left. Three, two, one. You're done. That's it. Let's check them. Hmm. This one looks pretty good. Cut me, Mickey. This one also has tusks. The winner, by by my decision, because I like this one more, is Rocky Balboa. <coughs> no. I can't believe it. What a twist ending that no one saw coming. I'm as surprised as anyone. Yeah, I didn't think that's how it was going to go. <laughs> I've always won. I can't believe I didn't win this time. Hey, Apollo, I just want to put some respect on your name. You know, you're a legend, man. You're a legend. Thanks. Thanks. You you might be one one day. Maybe maybe in a few a few a few Roman numerals from now, you'll be the champ. But you and are maybe, the champ. And, but maybe and, you'll be the champ again. And maybe ten years after those Roman numerals, I'll train your son. Maybe that would be great. Maybe maybe we can make this a nice friendship. Nah, but you know, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. And that's Rocky with a surprise twist <laughs> ending that he actually does win. <laughs> okay, well, we didn't have any turtles, but, uh, you know, we had a lot of dead animals, so that's something. Okay, that was, there's nothing like a great boxing movie. That was absolutely nothing like the greatest boxing movie ever made absolutely nothing like it but uh we had fun doing it we hope you have fun watching it coming to you entirely live we are quest for the missing scripts please tune in again next week for more movie related shenanigans please follow us on instagram and uh we'll see you and back here next YouTube. time yeah we'll and youtube and youtube yeah we'll see you here next week at 8 30 Thanks. Fun guy, I uh, just got to give a shout. Fun guy, a gamer said they got uh, M Night Shyamalan <laughs> with the twist ending. Oh. That's a great. Nice. Thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye. Good night.